Hi there, it's Mayan Shah with RVMax.us. And today for this video, we figured we'd bring the bus out into its natural habitat. This is a local state park. It's a great environment and it's a great place to uh, get in depth on a beautiful 2006 Monaco Windsor. This is the 40 PEQ model and it's a quad slide with a 400 side radiated Cummins. And this is a classic high level legacy Monaco coach. Now let's go ahead and dive right into the front. We've got an eight kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator and it is on a gen slide. So it's a power gen slide push button. The put button is actually located in the cockpit, which is uh, unique and the entire eight kilowatt slides out, gives you much better access to it and to you know general vicinity things as far as your front end goes. Now the face of the bus is in excellent condition. We had the 3M coat removed, so the paint is in superb shape. There's none of that uh, cracking or fading or rotting away 3M film on the front of the bus. You could always reapply it if you really wanted to or get some kind of button protector, if you will, if you plan on doing a ton of miles and you're worried about that. But there are a few small rock chips and minor paint perfections here and there, but overall the face is in excellent shape. There is a one piece panoramic windshield up top. And this has, again, you know, Monaco had a consistent cockpit feel, I feel like throughout all of their A buses. Um, and even some of the A gas models, as far as the positioning of the seating in relation to the mirrors and the, the whole way the cockpit is laid out. I always value that a lot, um, especially just creating consistency throughout. Whenever you get into Monaco big bus, you kind of know what to look for. But this one in particular has been set up pretty nice. So we've got villa furniture up in the front, custom gauges in the cockpit, VIP smart wheel, of course, and overall just an excellent experience. These mirrors, Again, typical Monaco fashion, long, long arms sticking out. And I think they contribute to giving you a much better perspective of your blind spot as you have more distance in between your mirror and that actual blind spot with the longer arm. Now the headlights are actually very clear and they're in pretty good shape, especially for the age. And overall the bus on the outside looks quite superb. They were uh, finished in a high quality gel coat. That's what it says. So there is, uh, I think, I want to say in the darker colors, there is some minor paint checking in some of the darker red. That's just going to exist. It's very common on this generation buses, even the most pristine buses from this era. Um, and it's just because of the material that was used at the time. And um, you know, it's not a big deal, it's purely cosmetic. And this bus, as I said, still got a very deep glaze, looks fantastic. And I think all the lines um, look make it look more substantial, especially with those 295 size tires that fill out the wheel wells. This has, uh, of course, full air brakes in addition to the dual stage exhaust brake. And the rotors in the front deals with heat better and uh, for more prolonged periods of time. So that's quite nice, drums in the back. Now we do have electric awnings up here. So we've got an electric entrance awning, um, painted, covered of course, as well as a lengthy electric patio awning, which again is shrouded in aluminum. And all four of the slides have toppers, of course, and all four have aluminum shrouds, which they are rolled up in into when you uh, draw the slides in. Quite a nice touch. There are some window awnings as well, so you can get a little extra shade on those uh, dual pane tinted windows. So if you want a little extra, you certainly can get that. So around back, this has a 400 horsepower Cummins ISL. It's an 8.9 liter producing 1200 pound feet of torque and it's connected to a six speed Allison transmission. It's a 3000 series Allison transmission. And um, this transmission, the way it's mapped with the throttle is quite intuitive when it comes to city driving and using the dual stage exhaust brake. It allows the revs to stay in the perfect position instead of upshifting um, in a lot of scenarios. And that's a minor uh, tweak, but uh, very tasteful and well thought out. This has a 10,000 pound towing capacity around back and the uh, aluminum bar does not come with the coach, unfortunately. There is a small little scuff right here and we should be having this rectified. There is a small scratch on the other side. Again, you'll find minor things, especially if you bring a magnifying glass, uh, you'll be able to find cosmetic falls until the sun goes down. And that's just sort of the reality. This one is gonna be solved before it goes out. Never know, you might be adding one or two yourself. Overall, the body is really clean though, 
and um, the imperfections are quite minor. Just pointing them out so you are aware before you come and take a peek at the bus and you're surprised. Now around back we've got an electric 50 amp power wheel. So you just pull it out manually and hit the button and reel it back in. The grill for the side radiator is painted, which is quite nice. And the docking lights are pretty bright and they're recessed into the sides of the coach. So they get a bit that sort of marine look. Now that chrome pipe is for our Aquahot hydronic heating system. It is a diesel fired system that will give you unlimited hot water. And uh, it will also preheat the engine because the coolant for the system cycles through uh, an interesting little unit in the back that sucks heat from the engine. What this means is while driving the bus or running the engine, you will have um, hot water and you'll have furnace heat just by running the engine. There's also a 1500 watt immersion element in it. So you can uh, heat this coolant that it cycles through radiators in the coach for your furnace heat portion um, and through the part that gives you hot water. You can heat that coolant using element and electricity and it's pretty nice actually. It's an additional system to heat the coach in the winter time while not burning any fuels. And it's also very nice to get the uh, powerful furnace heat just by burning diesel if you go into the super cold environments and not having to burn a bunch of propane. Um, that being said, this still has propane on board for the propane slash electric refrigerator in the bus. And one thing I wanna mention before we uh, move on, we will go through the compartments. It does have an electric reel for the water hose as well. So they're really trying to keep it easy on you when you're hooking things up. Now, as we come around the front driver corner, the last little detail details I wanna point out have to do with the horns. So this has the, uh, they're called like trumpet style horns, but they give it sort of a deep uh, vocalized sound that I always mentally attribute to Monaco's. Monaco's weren't the only ones who used these style of horns, but um, pretty much all the big Monaco's had this style. And there seems to be some kind of tone to it that is kind of specific. But anyways, it's a great sounding horn. And before we step inside and tour through the interior, let's go ahead and take a little more in-depth look at the compartments of this. The car. first bay behind the front axle on this Windsor is where our two fuel tanks are located. We've got a 130 gallon steel diesel fuel tank that is accessible from both sides. And I love how on a lot of these Monaco coaches, um, you could just open up this compartment door like this to see the entire tank instead of having to open that little door if you don't want to do that. Now right next to it is a massive 55 gallon propane tank and there is an air chuck. Um, I believe actually that's a propane chuck. This is our 100 gallon freshwater tank here and the coach has 60 gallons of gray tank capacity and 40 gallons of black tank capacity which is pretty solid. Now this is our first pass through storage compartment. We've got lights all throughout these bays. And while we do have a bunch of LED upgrades in the interior, if you did LED upgrades on this outside bay compartment, um, it would look really beautiful because we've got this beautiful carpeting that goes all along the walls in here. Remember this RR8S chassis has a lot more steel structuring down in the compartments that add to the entire chassis rigidity. And it's part of the reason this is the um, best, if not, it's not the best because there's 40 foot Prevos and stuff like that, but it's one of the best 40 foot uh, buses that you can find out there. Now we do have an extra windshield wiper here. It goes with the coach. A pass through storage has a slide tray, of course. Um, I left my longboard in here. It doesn't go with the coach, but we do have an extra storage compartment or a little container for a sewer hose, as well as extra filters, extra belts, all goes with the coach. And this is another pass-through storage compartment that doesn't have a tray, so you have a little more height in it. There are power outlets as well on the left, as well as some other things like 12 volt cigarette type uh, power supply and uh, some other things like phone and cable. Now that, um, those little center pieces will slide so you can get access to your aqua hot, which is back here in this bay in the center. And on the left is where our automatic transfer switch is located. And right next to that, you can see a little dial which controls the thermostat for the aqua hot bay heating. Now on the back right, we've got our boiler fluid reservoir tank for the aqua hot. You see the aqua hot unit itself back there in the middle. The 
black control box is located on the right of this compartment for the aqua hot so that is a 2000 watt inverter and next to the inverter compartment we've got a um, pretty pretty good depth here on this compartment it goes all the way up to the back of our wet bay so that's a pretty good uh pretty good size and right above it is where our our uh, black and gray tanks are located and i love these recessed docking lights they just look awesome now back here we've got our battery compartment so right We've got two 12-volt uh, chassis batteries in parallel on the top, and we've got four coach side batteries on the bottom, six volts, and they are both on sliding trays that will easily slide out, and then they slide back in and lock in place. There's also a battery tender um, for the chassis batteries. So right there, you can see the slide trays for those batteries slid out. We've got two hard cutoffs, which I love. Monaco's always done that. It gives you two hard cutoffs for your chassis and coach side batteries. So you can easily store the coach. We've got some fuses, things related to the uh, coach as well as the chassis. We've got auxiliary start, revealing our 8.9 liter, 400 horsepower Cummins ISL. This is producing about 1,250 pound-feet of torque and 400 horsepower and because the radiator is on the side that means you have this extensive access via the rear engine hatch and this is a good size engine hatch i have to say the belts are in good shape insulation is in pretty good shape apologize it's getting dark out here i should have gotten a flashlight or something but We've got our air intake there, or air filter, I'm sorry, on the left. And as you can see, that air intake goes up to the top. So you've got a cold air above tarmac air intake for this engine, which is really smart. All right, so this is our wet bay. So this does have RV SantaCon there on the bottom right. It's currently not plugged in, but it does power on. Um, so you can just dump the coach like a regular coach or hook up the SantaCon. There is a black tank flush as well as cable TV hookups, phone jacks. Um, this thing has smart TVs in it. And then we've got a outside shower there on the bottom left, as well as our hose reel. So this hose reel is electric. You just pull it straight out, reel it back in. Now this does have a little soap dispenser as well as a paper towel holder, which is quite nice. And of course you can turn on your water pump from out here and all that good stuff. So a nice wet bay. Next door is where we have a mana block as well as a double filter setup. And on the right, we've got the water pump for the coach. So the mana block lets you shut off a specific area on the coach. If you unfortunately, you know, incur a plumbing leak, you can still use the whole system except for that one spot. It's really nice. Even breaks it down to cold and hot. Now this is the other side of our pass through storage compartments. And as you can see, these doors are quite thick. They're nicely finished and uh, well insulated. And we do have, like you've seen already, the uh, Aqua Hot Bay Heat. Now this is our 100 gallon fresh tank, our 55 gallon propane tank, and our 130 gallon diesel tank. And look at those Alcoa wheels, even though they're dirty, on those uh, big old tires. This chassis is incredible. The fact that all these bays um, are much more structurally sound and important to the chassis itself. There's uh, this coach when you drive it, it just it feels so solid. If you ask a lot of people out there who've been around these RVs for a long time and have some experience around a lot of them, old dealers, people who've been had a bunch of coaches or have one of these Roadmasters and have had other coaches, they will tell you Windsor is a serious chassis, it's a serious bus. Just a gorgeous coach overall. All right, so let's check out the hydraulic generator slide. That is slick. And it reveals our Onan 8,000 watt generator. And look at that gen slide. This interior is quite nice. There's a lot of high-end things and themes going on. The big one is the woodwork, of course. Throughout the bus, it's top notch. And it's complemented by a, um, a pretty liberal use of Corian countertop and backsplash in the kitchen area. So you'll see that throughout the coach. I think this interior is cozy. Um, 
that touch of elegance that you kind of grow to expect on a pre-legacy Monaco coach with all the woodwork and everything. And it's been nicely updated. We've got updated TVs and all that good stuff. So as you'd expect, of course, these front two chairs do swivel around and these are huge, plush, Monaco inscribed co-pilot and pilot chairs. And one of the big things that is nice about the massive one piece windshield is that it curves around the side. So not only does this help you when you're driving, but when you park the coach, you get an excellent view out of the front of the bus. And um, unfortunately, I don't know if I got any pictures, but when Kai and I were camping, we had a great view out of the front of this coach, could see the lake, could see everything, it was super nice. Um, okay, so there is no TV up in the front as well, which is super nice because not only does it have that midship um, floor plan, which is a little more modern, but it gives you a more clean look up here. And there's of course a ton of storage um, finish in this beautiful wood. Now, right here above the doorway, um, there is a little bit of wrinkling in this wallpaper, um, signs that it had some kind of leak here in its past, but there's no um, real big rotten issues. You know, the wood is not perfect shape there, but it's a little flaw that does exist. Um, there are absolutely no leaks on this coach whatsoever. We didn't have any leaks at all, and it's unfortunately just a cosmetic thing at this point in the time. Now this right here is our couch that's on the passenger side of the bus, and um, it's a really plush looking couch. The condition of this particular coach, as far as the upholstery and everything goes, is super clean. And I think that's a big contributing factor. Now this has a hidden air mattress un underneath. So you can pull that out and get yourself a large um, queen size air mattress out of this couch right here. Now here's our dinette. We do have two fold out chairs. Corian is continued back there. The woodwork, it's got a beautiful presence everywhere in the coach from the cockpit to the very back of the coach. It looks magnificent. It's something Monaco was known for. And on top of being solid um, as far as the looks of it, it's solid as far as the actual build quality as well. So when you go down the road, this stuff is not gonna rattle as much as most woodwork would. Now right here in the middle, we've got a Fire TV edition, brand new smart TV on a nice swivel. And this swivel has been professionally done finished in this sort of pleather type material in the back um, and had an old style TV there before. And now we've got a smart TV. And I love this centerpiece right here. Got a nice accent of wood. It's just a very nice area. And these glass doors were uh, later on copied by American Coach actually. They soldered this. This is like a soldering, it's sort of um, a custom art piece, if you will. Each coach is not exactly the same but that's a nice uh, glass piece there. Just a very beautiful centerpiece here with that TV. Now on the other side, and you'll notice that we've now transitioned to our tile flooring. The rest of the coach has been finished in a brand new LVP plank floor, which we just had installed. So the uh, front living space here is, it used to be carpet from the factory. Now it's LVP plank, same for the bedroom. This is our galley space though, and the galley space is quite large. It's curved in a manner that kind of surrounds you here, and there's a ton of storage down below as well. So you've got drawers that pull out, you've got outlets everywhere, and then you've got this fantastic stove top. So this is a coach um, that only has propane really for the propane side of your refrigerator and this top notch a mana gas stove. And there's definitely something to be said about having a gas stove. Um, Gordon Ramsay would be proud. The backsplash is quite tasteful too. It just makes it um, complete and it reminds you how big this kitchen space is seeing it go that far back because there's a ton of space in between and everything. We've got a massive, massive dual sink, um, dual solid surface sink here with again, the Corian countertop uh, inserts. And up above, we've got this massive amount of storage, which has my wallet and keys to the car. Um, and this is uh, just awesome because there's so much space in this kitchen area, including up above there. Now that's a serious spice rack right there. And very depthful spice rack. There's a convection microwave oven and um, 
central vacuum system as well. Now here is our stainless steel finished refrigerator, which gives us a ton of storage and the ability to of course run off of propane. Oh, and before we move on from the kitchen, I absolutely love this piece right here. So this massive kitchen light up in the ceiling that's finished in matching wood is sort of a Monaco galley space signature. Um, and it just makes it feel more like a home when you're standing in this space and it's super bright, just illuminating the whole area. It's awesome. Now here is our main control center. And starting from the bottom, we've got our aqua hot control. So right now I've got the aqua hot on for our furnace heat. Um, it's got the electric uh, element in there as well as the engine preheat. So aqua hot will give you unlimited hot water and it will also collect heat for your furnace system and your hot water system just by running the engine and driving which is super nice. Fantastic system right here. Big upgrade to have on this type of coach. And as again, one of the many reasons you can't compare this to your typical 40 foot coach. This is a high end bus that has um, not only the features such as aqua hot and you know, the EMS, the, all the management system, the inverter, the stuff you'd expect on a high end coach, but it has a chassis that far outperforms nine out of 10 40 foot coaches you can buy today in 2022, um, especially for if you're comparing to just straight rigidity. But as far as the whole entire experience, it's incredible what these Roadmaster chassis do, especially the more higher up Roadmaster chassis, but anywhere within the rank, they're outperformers and they were not realized in their time, which is why you get a huge bang for your buck in my opinion, because uh, they're just not known. It wasn't a respected value to have a strong chassis. But for those out there who really know about chassis and coaches, they really love these Roadmaster chassis like none other and are aware of what's going on. So anyways, there's my little side tangent there. This right here will manage our power and everything. Make sure you don't trip. It'll do its best to not let you trip. Inverter control right there with automatic gen start system built in. Four slide out control buttons here. Water pump button, tank test button. We've got system heat. So there's some heating, um, there's some system heat. Like I think they're like heat pads down the bottom. And we also have aqua hot bay heat down there too. Um, and you can start your generator from here and this is the uh, thermostat control for our air conditioners as well as our furnace heat. Now this does have fantastic fans in the coach. We've got a control right here for our kitchen fantastic fan. You can put it in auto mode or manual, whatever. You can raise it, lower it right there. You've got a fantastic fan for the uh, bathroom space here, control right there, and there's a fantastic fan in the bathroom as well. This is our nice center bathroom space decked out in this beautiful tile, and we just had the tile steamed too. So not only does it make the grout look better, it's just nice to know that it was just sanitized and the floors other than the tile that was just sanitized and the carpet that was just sanitized are brand new LVP plank floors. So that's just a nice feature if you're in your mind thinking about it. And again, we like to actually camp on our coaches. We happen to actually camp in this coach and even record the outside video at the spot. So um, you get the picture. We love camping. We try to view from the customer's perspective as best we can. Now this right here is our main sink for the bathroom space. And I love the accent lights that we start seeing in the bathroom space here, um, including in the bathroom itself, small little backsplash. This is a very nice feeling um, faucet. And we don't really have any water, but there's a little bit of residual pressure built up right now. I can turn the water pump on, but I'm not. I like that faucet, it feels very nice. This right here is a glass enclosed shower. Um, and very tall, a lot of space up above my head here. And um, there's a ton of space around me too. I'd say it's an average high end shower with above average height, being that this is a newer coach that had, gets those 84 inch tall ceilings. And uh, I like the shower hand. I like the shower as well. This is a, uh, a nice little setup. Um, and the aqua hot, again, remember, you don't have to come out of there. As long as you got water, Open up your gray, you've got unlimited hot water, just stay in there for as long as you'd like. Now, this is another small feature. They use these really nice beveled edged mirrors and this is all solid wood. This is, I think I'm kind of glazing over that a little bit because I can go crazy. I've been known to go crazy over Monaco's and their woodwork. So I'm trying to be careful. There's a ton of storage down here, <laughs> carpeted. This wood is just so elegant. I'm gonna spend a touch here. I mean, there's wood everywhere, right? So this whole medicine cabinet is all solid wood where you wouldn't expect it. Right here, where this fantastic fan, you're gonna have to slowly turn. 
right behind you where this fantastic fan is located. This is just what I do in a Monaco coach. I just go around and do this. You can ask Kaya. She's shaking her head behind the camera. <laughs> she knows what I do in a Monaco. I'm just like, oh my gosh. You know, some of this stuff might not be like solid pieces of wood. That is, but there's a ton of wood um, in areas where you wouldn't expect it, where you're not necessarily gonna check. And it just kind of brings the whole idea of high quality wood together in um, addition to the wood actually being really well built. Now we've got a built-in dedicated sink for this bathroom, which I really like. More beveled, very tall mirrors right there. LED lights in the vanities. Um, so I love the LED lights upgrades that we have in the coach. Little bit of storage back behind there. More solid wood um, cabinetry. And uh, you know, this toilet is a large, a long, and look at the, how nice this is. It's all carpeted and finished with this little plexiglass thing here super nice but this is a push button porcelain toilet very long bowl so it's not like one of those little short ones this is a full size toilet about the size i would say this is uh almost exactly the size of a household toilet it's a big big porcelain toilet but this is a high quality very nice little nook where you can uh, take care of business <laughs> okay so here is our master bedroom and one thing that you notice about this master bedroom and the suite here is because of our classic floor plan connected bathroom. By the way, the bathroom is unaffected by slides. So going down the road, you got that entire bathroom experience unhindered. Um, anyways, and you can get to and fro quite easily. But this master bedroom here is just a very relaxing space to me. And one or a couple of reasons kind of come together for that. First of all, it's the accent lights and the nice woodwork. Those are two things that work in my mind. The other thing is sort of the depth this is gonna sound weird, but sort of the depth with this piece right here. We've got like little shelves built. I'm gonna to try to break it down. We've got shelves built here out of wood. There's a lot of texturing to this slide out piece. Beautiful Corian countertop here. The wood, you know, little trim pieces around there. Lights up here. Um, you know, there's a lot of texture and depth that makes it feel like there's more going on. That sounds weird, I know. Um, besides my weird observations, we also have very deep chores throughout this piece over here. So it's a very useful area, including this huge hamper here. Um, but there's something about that that adds to the experience, as well as this tile, weirdly for me. I don't know what it is. This tile makes me feel more, uh, I don't know, there's just more depth to it. But we've got a washer dryer combo back behind here. And then up above, there is a just large storage compartment, automatic lighting that comes on. And guess what? Another upgraded smart TV. It's a Roku TV. We've got a um, little arm back here and it's just professionally done. It looks like it came from the factory and that's the goal. Um, these are smarts again, and uh, it's just nice to have updated TVs. It's a must. Now we've got a nice um, wardrobe back there. There's a above engine hatch right there. So for extra engine uh, access, even though this is a side radiated bus, but we do have um, our extra chairs back here. There is a good bit of wardrobe space. As you can see, there's even some drawers down over there. It's kind of in disarray right now with how these chairs are laid out, but you get the picture accessible from both sides. Got a fuse box over here on the right, main breaker box right there. There is a block heater that's not through the aqua. So you've got two types of block heater in this coach. And um, I like the large countertop space here. There isn't a countertop over there, which is a little odd, but we do have um, easy access to the side of that bed. So you can get in bed with ease. And as you can see, I'm 5'11". I'm standing full height here with a couple of inches on top of this. So again, that was something I really liked about this coach is the accessibility to the bed was very um, well thought out. And there's also tons of lighting up here. So that was sort of a problem with older buses that was solved in newer coaches. They did not have enough lights in this headboard area because you kind of have a nook or a cubby hole, if you will. So you need a bunch of lights. These will completely swivel around. You can flex them, turn them any way you want. And you've got the additional lights up here built in. And that's just a beautiful, very nice headboard, two windows on the side. It's just a nice finish. This is all, when you're sitting in there and you're looking at all the wood, you're taking it all in. It's a very nice experience. Okay, that is uh, the basics of this interior. By no means have I covered it completely because this is a, um, a very nice interior. 
and we've got a lot of nice things going on for it. But let's go ahead and uh, check out how this thing drives. And I'm pretty excited for that because the coach with the RR8S chassis, it has eight airbags, eight shocks, side radiated with the 400 Cummins. This is so much more chassis than your average coach. Again, nine out of 10 40 foot coaches built in 2022. I guarantee you, at least to me, I could, and I've known because I've driven a lot of coaches, they don't have the solidness that these old Roadmaster chassis have. And it kind of takes some experience to appreciate that. But again, it's uh, to me, hidden value within the market. So let's go see if uh, I can properly show you how this coach drives. All right, we are getting on the highway now. And uh, the 400 Cummins has a good bit of power. And um, as you can see, we're pretty unaffected by these big semi trucks flying past us right now. This is an incredible chassis. So just to recap, we've got eight airbags, eight shocks on a custom Roadmaster RR8S chassis. This is a side radiated 400 horsepower Cummins uh, ISL 8.9 liter in the back. And um, this chassis is so much more than your average 40 foot diesel chassis. I can't even begin to explain it. There's actually a video out there on YouTube um, that shows that where it's a Roadmaster uh, informational video and they should kind of break down exactly why these chassis are so much more, but there's a lot more metal down beneath in the chassis, the width, the rails are put wider and this allows the airbags to be put a little wider and the front end especially has a design that was actually mimicked by Kenworth um, to my basic understanding. Now we've sped up here and this is a very nice driving coach. Again, the Roadmaster chassis is such a, it's a very high quality ride feel. You know, there's a, not that much bounce back in the coach. There's not that much sway at all in the coach. Um, the rigidity is much increased and you can feel that throughout the driving experience. The noise is actually really nice in here too. You know, there's not a ton of wind noise. There's barely any rattles from the back of the coach. There's a couple of course when you hit bumps and things like that, but overall the rattles are minimal. And you know, the chassis is just unbelievably stable. I think the best way to, to sort of show that is just being flown by by semi trucks and how unaffected the coach is by that. I think in the very beginning of our test drive, we had two trucks fly us by and I didn't even feel it. We we're going much slower than them. And um, right now I've got a truck, I'm trying to entice him to come fly me by, but he won't. But it's an impressive coach to drive. That's all I have to think and say about it. This is not your average 40 footer at all. This is about the best 40 foot driving experience money can buy. Plus you buy a 40 foot Prevo bus. It's just so easy to keep here in the lanes and it's because of a fundamental truth. It's funny, for the last couple of days, um, I've been driving around a 1988 BMW 535. And what I was thinking about that car is it's so well built from a fundamental perspective that you can really just feel exactly where it is in the road. It communicates so well with you. And this coach, while it does have a lot more rigidity and structural stuff, so fundamentally it's better built, right? But it's also the feel thing. And the feel thing is incredible. I mean, the way it just handles this stuff, you've gotta, you've gotta look into Roadmaster chassis if you're not familiar with them. That is all I can say. Um, and with that, we're gonna conclude the test drive video. Um, Shout out to all the Roadmaster fans out there. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one.